Okay, hello guys. So today we are going to build our own battery. Most people have recently started trying out their own battery builds and today we are going to do the same so that if you have such a project, you can come for our video and take it step by step. We have our cells here, we have our case here, we have some things off camera as well. And we are going to put it together and form our own battery. The BMS is over there and everything. Everything is ready. So come along and if you need anything from all that we are going to do over here the links are in the description below so let's start from here so i'm going to start from uh taking the batteries and arranging them inside and there's a specific order in which if this is the space you're working in you should arrange your battery so this is what i want you to pay attention to because you don't just stack them up positive negative yeah there's an order you should follow and I will be taking you through that. So come along and follow along. You guys can don't forget to subscribe and tell your friend about this channel as well. So I will start with just the right side over here and this is the negative terminal. This is the positive terminal. I put another negative and positive over here just like that and then I will alternate them. Make sure that they are not the same over here. So now there is a negative here, but there is a positive here, a negative here, and do the same for the rest until I get all the way to the end. Okay, so now as you can see, I have arranged them in the case, and if you come closer, you can see that there is a negative here, positive here, and the next is a negative and positive. That's exactly the sequence you should have. No two negatives or positives should be close to each other. And that's the exact sequence you should have. So now I'm going to put on the bus bar connectors and then tighten them up. Uh, no, not tighten them up. I'll put the bus bar connectors and later connect some wires for the BMS to communicate with the battery. So let's move on to that stage. So for this arrangement, I'm going to leave these two final ones as the final negative and positive for the entire system. And this is where I will connect the BMS uh cables to it so i will start from here and i will go in this pattern until i get right to the end so this is how i'm going to go and you can also do the same and i'm sure you will be fine across to the point where you change to the second part uh you need a longer Bus bar connector for it. And as I said, these are the final two, and my setup is ready. So now I'm going to connect the. There are some cables that I need to connect so that I connect to the BMS from that cable and the BMS will be able to read the voltages and everything across the entire uh, series connection. So before I carry on, I want to check the voltage across the entire setup and I have this over here. I will come to the positive and the negative and that should say 52. So exactly as I said, yeah, and now we can carry on. So I have gone ahead and these sensor cables that I'm going to use, I have already arranged them according to a way that I'm sure that will make uh, my cable management very simple. So yeah, I have this arrangement done already. I'll give you a little more details on how it's done. And that is what I'm going to use for the entire system. So I'm placing them. These are also held together by some uh, yeah perfect perfect i just wanted to line them up but this is how i'm connecting them this white cable goes to the final negative and every other thing follows one step at a time and this these this is how they are connected they are all numbered over here as you can see where is it i want to start from one so this is one cable one the cable set of one the second set, the third, and the fourth. 
So you start from the negative part, the final negative part. You start from there and build it up all the way to the positive part. And you start with the white cable, you connect it to the final negative, and then you continue. Every other cable is connected to the positive terminals. That's the key thing. You start, the white cable goes to the final negative, and every other cable goes to the positive terminals. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I go to positive, and the next positive, and the next positive, and the last positive for the first set. So one, two, three, four. This is the last positive for the first set of voice cable one. Let me show you. So now I have connected this first set. Now I have connected this first set to the negative and then positive, 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 positive of the first set of four. Now I'm going to the second set of four. And that will go to cable two. So that one also goes to positive. Um, positive. And it's ideal you do this before you uh, nail them down, fold them down. The next positive. And the next, where is the next positive? Okay. Here. Yes, positive. Over here. So then I go to, so that's the second set. That's uh, set number two, this, this one. So this set number two has been connected. Now I'm going to set number three. Also look for the positives. So one positive here. If yours doesn't have this cable management done, this is the guide, okay? So the positives, the positives, that's the way to go with this. And then my DMS will be able to read the rotating information and everything from the individual cells. So the next set of four are done. Then I get to the next one. The next one so also goes here. And the last one goes to the last post. Yeah. So let me cross check again, make sure that everything is well connected. So the white one is connected to the negative. The white one of the first set of cables connected to the negative and then the rest are positive 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 yeah so every single one of them is done and it came along the final wire for all of them all the different sets is the temperature sensor and these are already here and you can just make sure that you place them at a good place. If you have some glue, you glue them down and your system should be able to read the temperature information from that. Yeah, so that is the cable management and everything goes here. I'm going to put my BMS right in front here. So it leads right here. So I have managed the cable nicely and that is it for now. Let's continue to uh, connecting the BMS to it. So this is my BMS that I'm going to connect and use to monitor my batteries. And as I said, these cables are for the BMS to sense the information from the batteries. And this is exactly where I'm going to connect them. Here on the BMS, there's this one, two, three, four. And they, as I was telling you about the numbers, it goes just like that from left to right. Yeah, from left to right. So one, two, three, four, just like that. So I'm going to make that connection now. So as you can see, I have connected them one, two, three, four, just like I said. And now the next connection to be made is the negative and positive uh, cables. So I start with the negative. Mm, this should be okay for it. And I will hold it down. And finally, I put on the positive. And also hold it down. So with all this, make sure that you manage your cables very well so that they fit nicely into your case without having any problems. Now the final thing that will let power run through the entire system, I connect this uh, fuse cable for the BMS and let me turn the angle for that so that you can see. When I connect it, the 
screen for the BMS will turn on. So I'd like you to see that. So here we go. So as you can see, now there is power running through the entire system and I'm about to turn it on and you can see that your entire battery is fully built and completed. Now I come to the front part. This is turned off. This is part of, I turn it on. Wow, strong. Okay, so now that is on. Turn on the BMS. Okay, so as it's running without any alarms, I can go close to the BMS. And as I have connected my cables, I should be able to read all the information that I need from it. So let's start with temperature. All the temperature sensors are showing some temperature readings. And I go back, I go to the cell voltage. Then each individual cell reading is there. So that means I did my wiring correctly, my connections are well done and everything works well. So from now you can close it up nicely and connect your outputs, your inputs and everything and you're good to go. So that has been our DIY project for today. Um, there will be other videos with all this setup. So make sure to check up on our channel. If you need to build a, vid uh, a battery of your own, definitely take this video, share it with your friend who is also looking to make a build of his own so that he can follow this step by step and get everything done safe. See you in the next video.